I can't sleep because I've been up listening to my people talk about how uh, General Nakasone and these people at Fort Meade, which is where the NSA's pretty much headquarters is, um, I don't know if the NSA actually has a headquarters, that they ran a troll farm while I was running for president. And they slandered me so bad that like people despise me. And I have never seen the attacks. Um, I guess they were saying that the reason I was running for president is to promote my music. And that's why I was lying and alleging that the government was censoring me. And that's why I kept showing them SoundCloud when really SoundCloud's the only evidence I have of censorship. There's negative one there. How was it negative one? Apparently no one cared. Um, apparently there were a lot of people involved with slandering me and um, no one ever thought to, to no, no, one, no one thought about the fact that I starved myself for 47 days and I don't give a shit about my music career and I haven't given a shit about my music career ever and I mean, I like music, I can't help but make music, I can't help but make art, it's the way I am, I'm an artist, but that's not who I am. I mean, the real reason I ran for president is because I didn't, because I don't want people to murder me. And the real reason I make videos every day is because I want to make sure people know that I'm alive, and if I stop making videos, it's probably because I'm dead, because people from the government want me dead. So General Nakasone didn't like that I said that his father was a traitor to the Japanese people and that there's nothing worse in the world that a person can be than a traitor to your family in Japan because family is that in Japan. And this guy was a member of the Japanese royal family. And um, I think he came to the United States as a spy and then he turned on his family. And so... But that's not what it was about. I think it was this woman that I met from the NSA who was, who was like very uh, into making sure that people hate me. So when um, we think about PSYOPs, which is uh, a branch of the military that does psychological warfare on other countries, they put out lies and they also um, put out propaganda and stuff like that. Um, ha have people been doing, people from the government, from the United States government, uh, been doing PSYOPs on the American people to convince them to hate me. I don't know. I've never seen it. Um, I, I haven't seen the attacks. But uh, my understanding is that if I did see the attacks, then the last thing I would ever want is to protect the American people from um, COVID-19 or anything else. Um, I would want the American people to die. That, that's, that's my understanding. Is that if I actually if I actually saw the attacks on on me, um, I haven't seen them, but I, I have seen the way that Americans are, which is um, extremely greedy, extremely selfish, extremely self-absorbed, extremely into themselves to the point that they don't hear a presidential candidate who's so focused on trying to save the planet that he will tell you the truth even when it makes people hate him. They don't, they don't see it. Um, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sitting here going, how did, how did no one notice that I'm being censored? Like, I, 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 no one thinks about the fact that I've got nine views or my, my biggest music video has 16 views on it. My, I'm talking about my music videos I made. Like no one thinks about the fact that my, my, my videos have no views, but then they all know who I am. Because I'm telling you, like years ago, I met someone in Nashville who knew, knew who I was. That was like six years ago. And six years ago, I met someone in Santa Barbara who knew who I was, but still I had no followers. And why would I, if, if I wanted to show you my negative one views, why would I show you negative one views on Vinox 7, which Vinox 7, the, the music's not mastered properly. It's, it, that was way before I, I even started fixing my music. I mean, all I'm saying is, like, at some point you gotta wonder, um, is your government that nasty um, that they will overthrow the executive branch by blackmailing Donald Trump and then they will um, 
try to make sure that this election doesn't go any direction other than the direction they need, which is for Joe Biden. Because Joe Biden is in on the blackmail. They know him. I'm just saying, dude, like, at some point, how bad is our government? How nasty are these people? I don't know. All I know is, um, I don't know if it's going to help to contact anybody from the FBI. I mean, I'm, I already sent out my Secret Service mailing, mail outs. So every, all the Secret Service offices will get it. I don't think, I don't know if the Secret Service cares. Because I've met the Secret Service. They knew that there was election fraud going on. And you know what? I don't think they were involved with the troll, the troll farm. Um, I don't, I, the, it's, it's kind of hard to explain how it's election fraud if a large group of people from the American government that are computer programmers are writing computer programs to slander someone all over the internet way more than um, they would be slandered. Like it's, it's a bunch of people faking, like it's, you multiply yourself. If you're a computer programmer, you can multiply yourself on the internet and turn yourself into like a hundred people that hate this one person or a thousand or, or a hundred thousand people that hate this one person. All I'm saying is uh, I know how these people program and they can do it. I, I could have done it. Uh, I could have done it myself. I could have, I could have created a troll farm for myself. You know what I didn't do is that, you know why? Cause I think it's dishonest. So when you have comp little robots all over the internet lying about this person and it makes everyone decide they hate this person, then um, sometimes I think that can boomerang back on you. And so when I say that the people at Fort Meade um, are a problem, I'm, I'm just saying they're a serious problem. So I don't know, I, 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 I feel like I don't realize how much people despise me and I think what they should have done is thought about my, my actual proposals, like my, my plan for pyramid cities. They should have thought about the real reason I was running for president, which it was about, I, I wanted them to censor me, but it was also about, I'm trying to save the freaking planet. And I've been trying to save the planet forever. And if you say this is about music, but then you look at my, my videos where I don't talk about music for like a year straight. And then suddenly I, I decide to, make music videos, make, make, record Juliet and you make me forget with a crappy microphone because I wanted to show off my talent because I know Joe Biden's not talented at all. He's good looking. You know, he used to be good looking. He, he's a kiss ass that's very, very pretty. And he's very, 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 very greedy. And he's very, very, very self-absorbed. And he can't get out of this little box he lives in. That's who, that's who Joe Biden is. You know who I am? I'm someone that will let people despise me so that I can try to do something incredible, which is save this planet. And all the while, I don't even know what people are doing in the background, which is a bunch of career programmers that are incredible programmers that are using specific software to, to, to make people hate me. Like they're, tr they're, they're writing code to make people hate me. And that's just how it is. So I don't know. Um, I think that Fort Meade and the NSA has a, a, has a problem specifically with this one woman who is like an idiot that has that much influence over what they're doing. And um, if you're loyal to the NSA over the United States government, then um, I think you're going to be up for a rude awakening because I'm pretty sure that if you if you join the NSA, you had to swear to defend the constitution and clearly you guys aren't defending the constitution. You're defending, um, an agenda by a member of the Japanese Royal family that's in charge of the NSA. That is a national security threat because the reality is if you're that against me, you're a national security threat, even if you're not going to go leak, leak, leak secrets to Japan and you're loyal to this woman, you don't even know who she is but she's not that smart. She meets the math requirements, but she's not actually smart. She's someone that met those requirements. That is a, an anomaly from a math perspective, but from a who she is perspective, she's nasty. So, you know, it's all right. Um, apparently my people really hate the American people right now and they don't want to help you 
And so when you have a Pfizer vaccine, that's probably going to be the real reason that like a massive amount of people die. It's not going to be COVID-19. It's going to be this vaccine. Um, they don't really feel that bad about so many of you guys taking it before I warned you about it. 